Hey everyone, what's up? It's your girl Manal, and today I'm gonna be showing you how I do go zoom. So if you're excited for that, go ahead, and like this video, and subscribe if you have not already. And now let's just get straight into it. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking me in my comments how I do my stuff, like go zooms, coloring, and everything. So I'm gonna start out this tutorial series, and I'm gonna be telling you how to do it. So first thing, you are gonna have your footage ready. Um, the better the footage quality, the better the edit is gonna turn out. Um, I usually do my thing in the shorts, so let me change this to shorts format. And uh, make sure your frame rate is 60, or whatever frame rate you have, it doesn't really matter, but like, make sure it is good upper kind of frame rate. So now, um, let me put this to the side. Okay, this is our thingy, that is what we're gonna be using. Let me pre-comp this real quick. Okay, so uh, let's say I want a nice little, ghost effect at like one frame so i'm gonna mark that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press ctrl d to duplicate this layer and then you're gonna go into and click s that will open up your scale then you're gonna click this little scale option this little time thingy and uh, you are gonna go a couple of frames ahead so you can always use shift page down to go five to ten frames ahead and I'm gonna go this much and I am gonna increase this to 250. That is what the type of um uh the type gap works for me. You can of course change it around for your video depending on how it is. Okay, so next what you're gonna do is you're gonna click T and you're gonna have opacities. Opacity and scale are one of the two main things for a go zoom. So you're gonna click on the stopwatch again, and as you can see, it's already on hundred. So if you press U, you can see all of your time frames. So I'm going to go back to this one, our last one, and I'm going to turn this to a zero. So if you play this, it's going to be pretty good. But, but let me tell you, it can get smoother if you can just add some more stuff to it, like graphs. So let me play this up for you real quick. Oh my gosh, why is it not playing? Okay, so it's not playing, uh, but as you can see, it's like really, really cute. What you're gonna do now to make it even more smoother is select all of these, holding onto your left key on your mouse, and you are gonna go ahead and press nine. That is a shortcut to easy ease it, or you could just, you know, go ahead and easy ease it uh, from like this. You're gonna hold onto the keyframe, you're gonna go for keyframe assistance, and you're gonna go easy ease. So it will easy ease both of them. Now I'm going to go for the scale and this is your keyframe. Of course, it's going to be a lot more smoother already, but in case it is not, you are going to go ahead and click on it and adjust it to your liking. I like when the whole thing just comes out and then stays on for a little bit. So that's how it works. Then you can also change. You just have to click one of these and then you're on to the opacity one. So now you can just drag this one down a little bit. So it's not starting out big and yeah you can just play around with it and see what's best for you and that is how I do and now I'm going to be showing you the final product so just to be clear this is how you export it click on export and you add to render queue and just click render so it'll take a couple of seconds it's, it doesn't take that long yeah, you can add some sharpening and everything, coloring, and it will look amazing. So that is how our ghost zoom looks, and I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know which other story you want me to get started on next. So yeah, that is it for our video, guys. That is how you create a cute little ghost zoom, and yeah, let me know in the comments which other tutorial you want me to make. And have a good day, you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.